A7713. His new name. The graffiti stamped on his skin. A7713. A concentration camp tattoo. At age 15, A7713 was taken from his home by the Nazis and sent to Auschwitz, one of the 20th century's most potent symbols of evil. Here, A7713 witnessed the deaths of thousands of human beings, including his mother and younger sister. Somehow, A7713 survived, and when World War II ended, he put his pain and grief to work, making sure the world did not forget the Holocaust, and making sure another Holocaust did not take place. Today, the world knows A7713 as Elie Wiesel, noted speaker and lecturer, author of more than 40 books, and recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Congressional Gold Medal, and the Nobel Peace Prize, among others. Elie Wiesel is an eloquent, fearless, selfless leader who took the evils of Auschwitz as motivation to improve the world. An eloquent leader, Elie Wiesel uses the power of language to confront the problems of humanity. Through compelling prose and brutal honesty, he explains that we cannot root out evil unless we recognize it and battle it wherever it exists. In his classic book, Night, he says of Auschwitz, never shall I forget that night, that first night in camp, where my life turned into one long night, seven times cursed and seven times sealed. Never shall I forget that smoke. Never shall I forget the little faces of the children whose bodies I saw turn into wreaths of smoke beneath a silent blue sky. Haunting words that remind us of the reality of evil. A fearless leader, no less than an eloquent one, Elie Wiesel has spent 40 years battling the evils that continue to plague our planet. To the Mosquito Indians of Nicaragua, displaced from their homeland, he brought inspiring words of strength and compassion. To men and women facing apartheid in South Africa, he brought a powerful denunciation of racial segregation and violence. To Cambodian refugees suffering from starvation and disease, he brought food and the promise of a new beginning. And to those of us who follow his work, he continues to provide inspiration. A selfless leader, as much as an eloquent and fearless one, Elie Wiesel has consistently put the needs of others before his own. With every award, his modesty stands side by side with his achievements. As he stated in his Nobel Prize acceptance speech, neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. Wherever men and women are persecuted because of their race, religious beliefs, or political views, that place must, at that moment, become the center of the universe. Today, at 80 years of age, Elie Wiesel continues to fight against the night. Through all his trials and all his triumphs, the tattoo remains. A7713. A constant reminder of evil, injustice, and indifference. In battling these forces, Elie Wiesel has shown the kind of moral leadership too often lacking in today's world. There is no better way to conclude than to quote his own words. There may be times when we are powerless to prevent injustice. But there must never be a time when we fail to protest. What these victims need above all is to know that they are not alone, that we are not forgetting them, that while their freedom depends on ours, the quality of our freedom depends on theirs. Thank you.